everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share a flip through of my mostly completed anchored journal. This was the August collection release that I had here on my channel and in my Etsy shop. I just want to show you guys, I have this little pile of things. When I was cleaning up my desk and thinking that I had this journal done, it's not quite done. I do want to do something with this little bag of charms and tiles and pieces and things. I haven't put together any type of tassel yet, but I am thinking of doing that. I haven't done that yet. I also have this little scrap piece of paper I want to make into a tag. This was the front of a notepad that I got at the Dollar Tree. I want to make that into a journaling tag. It's perfect. I didn't use my little playing card and I have my letter I have to stick in there. So anyway, I have little bits of things, but for the most part, it's pretty much finished. I had mentioned before that I'm going to be using my journal for um, a certain devotional kit that I have as I'm, I'm still working through another one of the um, By the Well for God devotional kits and it is this one. So I haven't made it to this one yet, although I did do one day. <laughs> I did one day here in the front. So I'm just going to share with you guys what my journal looks like. I actually struggled with this one a little bit. I had plans and ideas. I don't know. Sometimes it's just, it's just a struggle here on the front. Oh, and the other thing, I think what was a struggle about it is that I didn't want to do too much to the pages because I knew I was going to use the devotional kit. So that usually means I need space to write when I do that. And then I felt like I couldn't add a lot of elements or something. I don't know. But here, you know, I just added a couple little postage stamps, some washi tape, we did this one on camera together, and if you want to see how I did that, I will link that video in the description box down below. So I originally thought when I filmed that video that I was going to go through the whole journal and do all of this watercolor effect with my Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. I did a little bit, which you'll see in a minute, and I thought I was going to add the fibers and the cheesecloth like this throughout the whole book. And I actually never did this again, but yeah, you'll see, you'll see what I did. So here, you know, I just added my library card on the inside this time instead of my cover because I didn't want to cover up that <laughs> pretty image. And I just used it for part of my journaling here. Um, I ended up going back through and adding a tab there. So this digital paper is from the Graphics Fairy, and I have the membership to that site, which is $10 a month. But for $10 a month, there's no limits. You get everything, and you know she's always adding new things. So I love having that membership. So I'm not sure what's available as free and what is part of the membership, so I'm sorry for that. But I will link the Graphics Fairy in the description box down below. But I will say, even if you don't get the membership for years, she just has so many awesome free printables. So that is where I got this image. And just to take the clips off, I made a pocket over here. I used a little bit of a map stamp that I had there, but you can't really tell what that is, but that's okay. I cut a chalkboard label in half and just added it to the top there. I did some machine stitching before I glued my pocket down. So I just made a pocket out of that. I made a pocket here on this side. I just crinkled it up and folded it up a little bit so it looked, you know, worn. Added some more map stamping there. And this is a flip out page. So what I did, I'm holding it closed with my binder clip. So here is that flip out page. Here's another pocket here. I glued it down, you know, along here so that I have two separate pockets and it didn't just go all the way across. So what I also did then on this page is I added a little booklet. So this is just some scrap paper that I had. I cut it to fit and I bound it in the side of this page 
just like you would bind, you know, a pamphlet stitch, like you would bind a little journal together. So I really like that. That's fun. I did do some more Tim Holtz Distress Crayon stuff on this page. So then I have my little mini journal here with my scrap paper and I just added some stamping, some dolphins, coffee dyed paper, some more stamping. And then it, you know, it's just a little booklet. And then the guest check out of the collection, I just machine stitched around it and glued it down to cover the rest of that paper. Some Tim Holtz washi tape. And I love that. I'm going to be doing more of that type of thing, I think. So then here on this page, I did use the distress crayons. And what I ended up doing is actually, I had bought some of the collage medium. You guys know I use it all the time and I love it. This is the distress collage medium. It's almost gone. So I had ordered some of the vintage colored distress medium. Okay. I was scared to use it. I'm like, what's it gonna be like? But it's actually really cool. So as I get to a different page where you can see it a little bit better, I'll show you what that finish looks like. So here, this is another Graphics Fairy image. I just stitched it and then glued it down as a pocket over this ledger paper. And then I just cut down a tag to fit inside of there. I was going to go through and do a lot of stamping, but because I'm using it as a, you know, devotional kit, I thought I would try to save some of that, you know, for when I'm actually doing my journaling spreads. So the Little Mermaid book page that came in the collection, I just made a pocket out of it again and added a tag. Another graphics fairy image. These are so beautiful and I just made a tag out of it. Just printed it on some paper and added some coffee dyed paper to the back. Just kept this paper as is, added a little lace tab there. Again, needing that journaling space. This book page came in my journal. <laughs> He's fun. And I just added some washi tape on the side. So then on this side, another Graphics Fairy image, and I just added some tags from the kit, the stamped tag that I included, and just put them in here. Another Graphics Fairy image, and this is one of her like book end pages kits that she'll have. I loved that. I know that she's had those in her free section before. So I just made a little tuck spot out of that. And this was a cutoff from a book page that I used. And I just, it was probably clouds on part of a book page that's toward the back of the book. And I just made a little label like thing out of it because I liked the coloring. Another little, there's some thread sticking to that. Vintage lace tab there. This is probably what that book page was. So this is just, you know, a dolphin. And then I saved the porpoise, the little definition that came out of the children's book and made a little journaling card out of that. Tuck that in there and then just another tag. Here on this page, I added a small windowed envelope. I can't remember the name of this digital kit who, what the name of that shop is, but I had done another nautical themed journal months ago. So I had some scraps left over. I just made a little journaling card, added it to this music paper. And this is what that vintage collage medium looks like. Instead of just being clear, it gives that washed out brown tea stained look. And I decided that I loved that. And I went through an use that quite a bit in this journal. On this side, I just added a scrap of coffee stain paper, a little label. One of my friends sent me a few of those and some friend mail and I just love them. Another graphics fairy principal. Added some coffee dyed paper to the back. There's some of that vintage collage medium just smeared on there. And I have found that while it does have a finish to it, a plasticky type finish, 
My gel pens will work on it. It's just, you gotta be careful not to smudge it. It takes a few extra minutes to dry, but it does dry down like this page. Well, not that one. This one, I had written on this and I did have to, I did play around with my pens a little bit and it was the gel pens that ended up working better. So I ended up switching to the gel pen down here and it worked fine over this collage medium. It's a little, annoying is a little pesky <laughs> but I wanted that finish you know on these pages for the most part just added a little burlap tab there another graphics fairy print made into a little pocket this was in the journal I just added some washi tape this I actually found at Goodwill I couldn't I love it when I'm <laughs> fortunate enough to find things like this at Goodwill and it couldn't be more perfect for how I wanted, you know, my journal to look. So this is a vintage piece of stationery. I just added some tea stained paper to the back to give it a little more coloring and then machine stitched around it all. Just added some of that vintage collage medium to that page. I washi taped in my little bookmark that came in the collection. Little lace tab down here. This I ended up sticking back in my book. It goes somewhere else, but my cat always comes along and just pulls them out. <laughs> so I had just found that on my desk. I gotta figure out where that goes. So this is the center of my signature and this is another image from the Graphics Fairy. And I just made a double tuck here out of this image. I didn't want to cover it up too much, so I used a couple of those little labels from my friend, and I added the hearts to the strings there. It's just so pretty. Didn't do anything to that page. Added some more of that, you know, collage medium. I'll quit saying that now. You guys can tell. I started to make a paper clip to do something else with it, and this is just kind of what it turned into. <laughs> so I used some of the scrapbook page I had left and just used one of those punches that came in the collection, some scraps, and just some stickers. Happiness comes in salt water. And I'm just holding in another scrap piece of paper from something I had cut apart that I made into a tag. All right, and this is clipped onto the back side. This came in that stationary set also. This was a postcard and I just backed it with some tea stain paper. The other side of that heart paper, I just added a little tab there. I made a few of these tags in a video I will link down below as well with a nautical theme. I knew I wanted it to be in my devotional journal. This is made out of a flash card. You can see the shadowing in there. Just added some vintage trim up here. Did some distress crayon stuff there. Another principle from the Graphics Fairy made into a journaling card. This was a book page and I just folded it over. Well, first I ran it through the machine, which I'll always flip my journal like this and I'll take the page I want and then I just ran the machine, you know, across the edge of that page, folded it over and glued it down and made it into a pocket on this page. Did some inking and stuff and then I just added a couple tags that I cut down to fit there and then this was in the collection so I just added it there. Here's another book page out of one of those children's books. I just cut out that beautiful seahorse image, made a little tuck spot out of it, took the description from the book and made a journaling tag out of that and I just love that. Some more inking and stuff in the background there. This was an actual page in the journal and I ended up cutting it out and cutting it down, the two pages down to make and do a little journaling spot here. So I just cut them to fit, inked them, and over this book page that was already in the book, 
I stapled them with this little scrap piece of paper that I had left. So then here on the other side of this book page, I used the glassing bag. I used that distress crayon on there again, added some scrap, folded it over, added some scrap. So I have a double pocket. So I have a little tag in there and then I put some other little tags in here. Those came in the collection. I think this was just a scrap of something I had left and I just added tea stain paper to both sides of that. Here I added some burlap and some pretty lace. And I just went through most of the pages and added some of that distress crayon. I had ordered something on eBay and they sent it to me with all of these amazing lighthouse stamps. I was so excited. So I just cut it off the packaging, rounded the corners there, and I'm just going to use that as a journaling tag. Clipped it on that ledger paper. Here is another book page out of that children's book. And this time I just glued it down. I cut out the little betta fish. I glued them down on that ledger paper, added another one of those labels, added the little description of the fish. And then that's that. I can journal around it if I want to. And then just a little lace tab there. Another graphics fairy image, again, just made into double pockets. And I added half of one of those chalkboard labels on the side there. And then here, this is my last page. I did a lot of that <laughs> distress crayon stuff. I just find that so relaxing to sit and do. I really enjoy it. So I'm not sure what I'll do on this page yet. I'll probably just journal and write on it. And then the tag out of the collection, I just added some tea stain paper to that side of it added a few little fibers there and clipped it in the center. Added some washi tape here. And this was the, here's another one of those tags from that video. This was a piece of letterhead that was like the ocean and the sky. That was the book page. And I just added some more of that vintage collage medium to age it up a little bit. Again, those tags, you guys know I love making those tags. Yeah, so that video will be linked down below. And that is my somewhat completed anchor journal. I don't know where this paper clip came from. Huh, I don't know where he pulled it out of. Maybe it's, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much, everyone who purchased this collection. I appreciate all of you so much. I would love to see your journals over in the Facebook group. I would love to see some pictures. I haven't seen any in a while. So if you guys are willing to share your photos, I would love that. The link to the Facebook group is in the description box down below as always. Today I'm getting started on the new Providence journal. I'm super excited. And you guys, the fall journal is almost done. Hopefully I'll have more updates on that next week which is a reason why you want to be in the Facebook group. If you want to see sneak peeks of upcoming journal releases, the Facebook group is a great place for that. I always try to share a photo or two as I'm putting the kits together. So be sure to go join us over there if that's something that you're interested in. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.